thefootballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, breaking down the Broncos versus the Chiefs. Let's look at the Broncos offensive game plan coming into this matchup. Some of the sacks fall on the offensive line, but most of the sacks have to fall on Tim Tebow. He has to get rid of the football quickly. I guarantee you this week, Tom Bailey will make you get rid of the football quickly if you hold it too long. You only can take one of those hits from Tom Bailey. So the Tebow factor has to be in effect, but he has to get rid of the football quickly quickly to keep the offense on pace. He's already been sacked 15 times this season. That's atrocious. Now, design some plays to get him involved, to, to play to his strengths. You see right now, you're more run-based. Design some pl pass plays to get him to be effective. You see he has the heart. You see he has the leadership. Design plays that work well with his skill set. Stop trying to make him John Elway. Stop trying to make him Kyle Orton design pass plays that give that takes advantage of his skill set and makes him more effective. Now defensively, you want to beat Jackie Battle to the punch. If you get to the line of scrimmage before Jackie Battle, he doesn't have the elusiveness, he doesn't have the cat-like quickness like Thomas Jones, he doesn't have the agility. He's going to get stuffed at the line of scrimmage, so you have to beat him to the punch if you're those linebackers for the Denver Broncos. And cornerbacks can't play close to the line of scrimmage this week against Matt Castle. Reason being, Castle is a guy that ha he has that Jason Campbell syndrome where a guy has to be supremely wide open before he takes a chance and throws him the football. So tight coverage on the wide receivers is going to do two things. One, force Matt Castle to be accurate and force him to put that stick throw in there. Now, also looking at the special teams aspect, you can't allow any cheap plays against Kansas City in the special teams aspect. Otherwise, KC will make you pay. Now you look at the Chiefs on offense. You want to work the middle in the passing game. You've got to stay away from the edge with those Denver Broncos corners. Work the middle. Take advantage of those safeties. So if you, even if you have to move Baldwin around a bull around, take advantage of the interior defense in the passing game of the Denver Broncos. And you have to push more vertical. Right now the Chiefs are a horizontal type of passing game, vertical push in the passing game is going to loosen up that defense and Jackie Battle will be able to run the football if you start to stretch the field vertically, which is why the, they were uh, able to have some success against the Oakland Raiders. Now you look at defensive side of the football, pressure has to come from within versus Tebow. Tebow is, a, is one of those option type of quarterbacks, a guy that gets pressure from within. Uh, he has a good feel for blind side pressure. He also has a good feel for, for front side pressure. It's the pressure that comes down the A gap that he struggles with. So get pressure on the interior down the middle versus Tebow and you can have some success. Now where's the help from Tom Bali? Justin Houston has to step up and be a pressure off that opposite side. Tom Bali is going to get double team. Justin Houston has to win those individual battles this week and sell out versus first down. Denver, nine times out of ten, will run that football on first down, sell out against the run on first down, and continue to sell out until they prove they can back you out those, those uh, blitz packages with the passing game. So I would personally sell out versus Tim Tebow. Now, X Factors in this game has to be Mike McCoy for the Denver Broncos, the offensive coordinator, design plays to help Tebow out. X Factor for Kansas City has to be Romeo Cornell. He has to continue to dial up the blitz and stay aggressive against the Broncos. Tough game to pick here, but I think Denver has the mojo. I think Denver will win this ball game due to the fact that they can run the ball and their defense plays at a high pace all game. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the football game plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.